Welcome back to ELN Morning. Valentine's Day brings up thoughts of chocolates, flowers, and dinner dates. And with the big day coming up on fr Friday, you may be thinking of one or more of these things. Or you may be scrambling, just like me, to find something to do. Well, have no fear because I've got five Valentine's Day romantic activities that you can do by yourself, with friends, or with someone special. This Friday at 8 p.m., the Greensboro Symphony Pops is performing with John Pizzarelli and Jessica Malosky. Tickets are only $15 for students. Pizzarelli is a jazz guitarist and Malosky, his wife, is a singer and Broadway actress. The duo will sing American classics and Broadway hits at the Westover Church in Greensboro. Another unique option is the Biltmore Estate in Asheville. You can explore the largest private home and 8,000 acre land with day passage at just $39, the lowest price of the season. The tours are also offering free audio guides and a $10 discount if you book a tour seven days in advance. But if you feel like staying on campus, there's plenty to do as usual. The women's tennis team is playing UNC Wilmington at 2 p.m., the baseball team is playing Cincinnati at 4 p.m., and the women's lacrosse team is playing Longwood University also at 4 p.m. like we saw earlier. But if sports aren't for you, then you could also attend the Department of Performing Arts' presentation of 1776, The Musical, at 7.30 in McCrary Theatre. And the effect and the women and gender studies students will put on the Vagina Monologues at 6.30 and again at 9 in Whitley Auditorium. And finally, if none of that sounds like a romantic night to you, then catch Smooth Regressions playing a concert at 9 p.m. in a Riazu. <laughs> there are so many great options out there for you, so you don't have to settle for the dinner and movie. Find something new. You can even plan a combination of all these options and enjoy your day of love.